This one is savage. Join me in the ring for a 40 minute shadow boxing hit workout with intense ab intervals. Are you ready champ? Let's go. All right, let's do this thing. Are you ready for the next 40 minutes? We've got 26 rounds, 40 seconds of a combination, 30 seconds of abs thereafter, and then some rest. Let's start with round one. One, two, one, two. Jab, cross, jab, cross. We're gonna keep it light. I'm gonna turn those hands over straight down the middle. You punch, boom, 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 boom. It's all up top. And again, we wanna keep it light because we're just beginning, right? We're just starting. We want a couple, add a couple steps in between. One, two, one, two, you new move. Maybe you add a little head movement. You take a step forward, you take a step back, side to side, throw four punches. And that's how this is all gonna work. Just one, two, one, two. And we move a little. Good, keep it light, super light. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Straight down, straight down, that's it. All right, let's move on. We're gonna take it down to the ground and we're gonna go ahead into a sit up and a side crunch. Notice the elbow goes towards the outside of the outer thigh and we alternate. So we're gonna go up center, left, right, up center, right, left. We hit it, that's it, good. You do the best that you can with these sit-ups. You do the best that you can. You can always do crunches if sit-ups are too much. All right, shake it loose, get up. All right, so one is done. We are gonna repeat every two rounds. So round two is gonna be the same exact thing. We go one, two, one, two, and move. And then we do the same ab exercise. Are you ready? Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. This is your second chance. Now that you know exactly what to do, maybe you pick up a little bit more speed here. Again, we're still keeping it light, but think of rhythm. Think of your cadence. Think of ba, 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 ba. boom, 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 boom. Good, right down the middle. Sa, 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 sa. Good, and we step in between, we move in between. Never stay idle. Never stay in the same spot. That's it. It's what I love about uh, doing this in the ring because you just get a real sense of you know, what it's like to be moving around it. And if you don't have a ring or you're not working at a gym and you're doing this at home, I really want you to visualize you are in a ring. So you better move. One, two, one, two, you move a little. One, two, one, two, you move a little. That's it. Let's take it down to the ground for our second set of abs. Here we go. Up, side to side, back down. And we come up, side to side, lead with the other way. And we're alternating our lead side. That's it. You've got about 15 seconds here doing wonderful, wonderful, we're almost there. Less than 10, we change it up. 10, Fantastic, take it up, shake it loose. How you feeling champ? We just started, I know. But if you do fancy to drop a comment, go for it. Otherwise, come join me for round number three. We're gonna start in three, two, one. Let's go with the jab, slip, jab, cross, slip, cross. That sounds like a big combination, but check it. One, slip left, one, two, slip right, two. That's if you're an orthodox fighter. You do the opposite if you're a, a southpaw, which is your lefty, okay? So it's jab, cross, slip, one, two, slip, two. It's about moving that head to the side. Boom, ha, boom, boom, ha. And always adding those counter punches. So if you move your head, you've got to punch something. In this case, we do a one-two in the middle. We slip again. We go with that cross at the end. Punch, head movement. Punch, punch, head movement, punch. All right. Let's go into a low plank position. We're going to drop our um, waist side to side. Then we roll it over into a side plank. So we dip. One, two, one, two, turn. Side plank. One, two, turn. We are on our elbows. Control your body weight. Tight abs, tight core. You have five seconds left. Good. Take it up, shake it loose. 15 seconds to rest. Doing fantastic. Doing fantastic. Okay. Get ready. Jab, slip, jab, cross, slip, cross. That is your combination perfected now. One punch, two punches, one punch. Lead hand, 
slip, lead rear, slip, rear. Yes, that a go. That, that's how you do it. Come on. Bang, bang, bang. 15 more seconds. Amazing. Okay, let's take it back down. Low plank is position again, and we're going to go into our hip dips, right? So, one, two, turn. And one, two, and turn. That's it. Looking good. Keep it going. Ten more seconds. And rest here. Fantastic work. All right. As I said, we repeat every two. Now we're moving on to another combination. Get ready. Backhand. We're going to start with that backhand. Okay. We go with the cross into a triple lead body shot. Bang. Boom. 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 Now I want you to throw your body into behind that backhand. So you're really loading here. You're going to throw that backhand, bang, up, 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 and we throw the triple body shot olé, with the olé, lead hand. Olé, olé, olé. Lots of hips, lots of rotation, lots of trunk movement, right? It's not just about flailing your arms. You're getting the whole body to work together. Less than 10 seconds left and we have our abs, okay? Come on, boom. A lot of power. This is a power combination. Fantastic. Take it down to the ground. One leg is going to be up in the air. The other one is going to be straight out a few inches off the ground. And we are going to crunch this position. So right leg up, left leg out, and we're going to crunch, crunch, crunch. Good. Lift those shoulder blades off the ground. Maintain neutrality right in her spine. Even though that opposite leg is off the ground, a few inches off the ground, like really maintain your integrity of this position. It is difficult, it's challenging, but I know you can do it. Rest. Really awesome, fantastic work. We've got a little bit more to do. Guess what? This time, this time. So this time we're gonna keep going with that backhand and then the triple body shot with the lead arm, okay? 40 seconds, now we're down to 30. Throw your body in as always, right? Bang, boom, boom, boom. Triple lead body shot. Uh-huh. Excellent job, less than 10 seconds. Good, let's take it down to the ground. We are gonna go with those staggered crunches again. Left leg up, right leg out, straight out, a few inches off the ground. You're gonna go into those crunches. Really important, you don't um, pull on the neck. You wanna keep those elbows nice and wide. Chin lifted, and you're just basically crunching. You're gonna do the best you can. You can always give me regular crunches here, like if you're finding it it's way, way too much for you, that's okay. You can give me regular crunches, of course. That's it, good, shake it loose now. Take it up, shake it loose. Are you ready? In three, two. We're gonna go with that lead hand up top. One, triple body. So jab up top, body, body, body. So it's similar to what we did in the last two rounds. This time we start with the jab hand and we go with those rear body shots, three of them, just like the last round. Bang, boom, 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 get in, feast in on the body. Nice long jab, get in, get in, get in. Turn those hips over. Yep, doing great. That's it. We've got about 10 seconds here. Bop, bop, bop. How you feeling so far? I hope you feel empowered, you feel strong. You're starting to sweat it out a little bit. You're moving, your body's responding, right? Now, we're gonna take it down to the ground. We are going to leg raise. We're gonna hold it out. We're gonna crunch over to the side, crunch over to the side. We lift those legs up. We hold it out. This is super advanced. A little oblique crunches on each side. And then we lift and then we lower. And we try to hold it out. 
if it's too much for you you can just give me regular bicycle crunches okay you can modify change it do what you got to do to make this work for you as long as you're getting your obliques we have three seconds two and one let it go take it up shake it loose guess what we repeat we repeat again full deep breath in good work you're about 10 seconds in you're doing fantastic here we go jab triple body bang bang good 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 champ come on up top get in get in get in good work good 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 keep moving It. That's it. Move in between those punches. Ten more seconds here. Come on. And rest. Take it down to the ground. We're not really resting, but we wanted to stop the combination because now we've got those abs. We crunch it with an ISO hold of that leg raise before we lift it. We lower. We crunch over, we crunch over, then we lift those legs up. Hips are stabilizing, lower back is into that ground. Yup, take your time in those cross punches, uh, cross punches rather. Yes, doing great. You have three, two, and one. All right, take a rest right here and then we're gonna move on. All right, let me know in the comments how you're doing, how you're feeling. Are we enjoying this workout so far? I'd love to know. Are you ready? Next round in three, two, and one. Here we go. We're going to jab upstairs, and then you're just going to throw any body shot. It could be with the lead hand. It could be with the rear hand. Uppercut, hook, another straight punch, whatever you want, okay? You start with that jab up top, and then the idea is to level change with another punch that follows it up. All right? So change it up every time. It could be across to the body, uppercut to the body, lead hook to the body, whatever you want. You level change though in between, so it's essentially two punches. One punch is a straight jab up to the nose, forehead, chin, whatever, to the mouth, and then you're gonna go with a body shot, okay? And again, these are gonna be level changes. So, good. All right, let's take it down to the ground. On all fours, hands and toes, we twist and we jab. Knees directly over the underneath those hips. We go a bear twist into a bear jab, and we're alternating right and left that's it looking good we've got about 10 seconds here so keep it strong everything is sturdy everything is braced especially your core is braced in three you've got two and one guess what you take it up shake it loose again your opportunity to either leave me a comment go grab some water too hydrate towel off do what you got to do and we're ready to start the next round we're going to go again are you ready? Here we go. Any jab up top and then any punch to the body. Now, body shots include, you know, punches to the shoulder, to the mid chest. But here, I, I want you to think like a liver shot, kidney shot, you know, straight down into the solar plexus. Like I just, I want to see that level change. I want to see you using your legs here, okay? So 20 seconds left. That's it. And you keep it moving. Good, good, good. Don't be afraid to do it, change your angles, right? You move in between those punches. Less than 10. Good, you're doing awesome, champ. Come on, and take it down. Bear twist and jack, here we go. Core strong, spine neutral, braced. You twist, a little jump out and in. Do your best, do your best, right? Doesn't have to be perfect. The idea is for you to challenge yourself. And I understand this is an advanced move, right? This isn't by any means, um, this isn't by any means easy. It's not. None of this work is really, right? You're just gonna do your best in three, two, and one. Nice job. Take it up. Take it up, take it up. Breathe here. All right, here we go. Moving on. One, two, one, two, up, up. So I call this over and under. And as we're doing this, we step to the side. Right now, I'm going to my right. And then I'm going to my left. One, two, up, up. One, two, up, up. Over and under punches. And I'm working my space. 
I'm moving it side to side with just some lateral footwork. I, I throw four punches and I step. I throw four punches and I step. Mm-hmm. Walk that line side to side. Good. 15 seconds left. Mm -hmm. Over and under punches, lateral footwork. Okay, beautiful work. Let's take it down. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead off to the side to kick it out. We roll, we pull in, we kick out. We're keeping those legs out, we roll to the other side. We're working from hip to hip. Okay, we're working from angle to angle, side to side. Notice how, how strong and braced we still keep our core here. You have five seconds. And rest. Woo! Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing. We're gonna repeat. Rinse and repeat, baby. Rinse and repeat. Here we go. In three, two, and one. Over and under, step. Over and under, step. One step at a time. Four punches, one step. Work your lateral footwork, your side to side footwork. Right? Being super meticulous about how you step. Good. Not, you know, sometimes, especially as first timers, um, first time in boxing, you know, and especially when I hold mitts with people, they just like to circle around me a lot. And, and it's always in the same pattern. We want to learn to be very, very, um, very disciplined in our movement, right? If you're going to go off to the side, go to the side. If you're going to circle, go to the circle. If you step forward, step forward. Do you understand what I'm saying? All right, here we go. Ab time. We go with those kickouts and roll. Boom. It all matters. How you do this matters. Good. And the more you practice, the better you get at it. That's it, looking good. Pull, roll, and pull, roll. You kick it out, pull in, kick out. Roll, get to the other side. Okay, take it up, shake it loose. You're doing great. All right, so now we're gonna move on, okay? We're gonna move on. Get ready in less than 10 seconds. We're gonna go forward and back. So check out what I'm gonna do here. In three seconds, we're gonna walk up and back. So we're not gonna try to veer off. We're gonna duck back, up, 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 and we go one, one, two. One, one, two, up, boom, boom, boom. Duck, duck, up, 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 one, one, two. Duck, duck, shoe shine, one, one, two. Good. Good learning to move backwards. So we are defensive here. We counter, and then we get aggressive and we come forward. Good. Uh-huh, listen time. Three, two, and good. All right, we're gonna go to a high side plank. Check it out here. I'm on my right side. I'm gonna take top leg forward, tap it. Top leg back, tap it. Then I lift the top leg. Forward, back, lift. Forward. Back and lift. That's it. Keep it moving. You're doing great. Less than 10 seconds. Awesome. Take it up. Shake it loose. Ooh, you sweating yet? I sure hope so. Guess what? We're going to do this again. We duck back. Do a little shoe shine. We come up with the 112, okay? Here we go. Duck, duck. Bang, bang, bang. Good. Follow my lead. Speed, speed, speed. Boom, boom, boom. Defend, defend, counter. Get aggressive, offensive. Yes, you feel me here? Again, 15 more seconds. Five, we have four, three, two, take it down to the ground. Let's go to the opposite uh, stance now. We are on our left. We're gonna do the same thing with the side plank variation, okay? Great 
work, keep it going. 10 seconds to go. Forward, back, lift. That's what we're doing here. Beautiful work. How you feeling? Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. All right. I hate to break the bad news, or is it good news? You're halfway there. All right. Body shot. Boom, boom. And two uppercut. Body, body, up. Three punches with that lead hand. Body, body, up. Slide it up. Use your hips. Bang, bang. Now, I want you to think power here. I also want you to think you are close to your opponent. Okay? Boom, boom, bang. Good work. 10 seconds. Lead hand. Straight up, use your rotation of those hips. Good work. All right, take it down to the ground. Oh, this is going to be nice. All right, feet on the ground, hands by those hips, and then you're going to slide your hands. Now, notice my lower back is still on the ground. I'm not in a full-on sit-up. I am in a super deep, deep, deep crunch. I try to get the palms of my hand to meet my kneecaps. Slide, 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 slide until you can't anymore. And slowly bring it back one vertebra at a time. Let's try to get one more in. Roll it up and roll it back. Nice. Okay, take it up, shake it loose. Now we're going to do the same exact thing, that triple punch. It's going to come from the rear dominant hand, your back hand for power, two to the body, straight upstairs. Bang, bang, boom. Let's do it. Here we go. Up, up, bang. Again. Power in the hips, okay? Power in the hips. Use those hips. Good. Rotation, good. Move in between those punches. Bang, boom. And imagine two beams right down the middle, right? You're not crossing up that upper uppercut across the body. You are literally keeping in between those two beams. Right down the middle, bang, bang. And the knuckles come up. Good. Let's take it down to the ground. Let's go ahead and slide. So we slide those hands up towards the kneecap. Pop, 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 pop. And drive it down one vertebra at a time. That's it. Looking good. Let's do this again. Ten seconds on the clock. All right, sweaty Betty, you're doing great. All right, all right, here we go. All right, check it here. In three, two, we're gonna go hooks. Head, head, body, body. And you roll it underneath and out. So you go head, head, body, body, roll it underneath and out. It's four hooks, top, top, bottom, bottom, roll it out. I am rolling out towards my right, okay, towards my dominant side. I'm just getting up and underneath and out, just getting out. Again, 15 more seconds. Yeah, that's it. Doing great. All right, let's take it down. Check it out. It's three separate plank moves. Elbows, hips up towards the ceiling. We straighten in neutral. We go to a plank push-up. We take it up to a high plank back down. So we call this the dolphin plank, the plank push-up, the commando plank. Three separate planks as one ginormous variation. Less than 10, just do one at a time. Yes, good, take it up, shake it loose. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen now. We're gonna go with the rear hand first instead of the lead hand. And it's still head, head, body, body. Okay, here we go. Back hook, front hook, back hook, front hook. Now, you have to roll it up and underneath towards your lead hand. You roll it up and under, and then you pivot just to change your angles. And notice that extra step to get out. 
front leg has to step. And then we turn. Again, 20 more seconds exactly like this. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's take it down to the ground. Dolphin. We go hips up. Plank. High, high, low, low. Three plank variations here. And of course, you can always just pick one, you know, if that feels better for you or maybe you just hold it, right? You have to do what's right for you. I, I can only do so much behind the other end of the screen, right? Now, if I was with you in person and we were training, obviously I would assess your body and, and I would coach you, other, you know, otherwise. But you have to just trust yourself and do the best that you can. We're resting here. Take a full deep breath in. Are you sweaty like I am? I hope at this point you are. We still got work to do, champ. So we're going to go one, two back. So this is three punches. One, two, one. Boom, boom, boom. And, and notice, back foot, back front, back, in order for you to go backwards, right? You have to lead, lead with the back leg. Again. Sa, sa, sa. Again. Good, 15 more seconds. Mm -hmm. Excellent work, you have three seconds, two and one. All right, guess what? We're gonna kick it out into a leg drop. Then we kick it out, pull it in. Heels down leg drop kick it straight out pull those knees and knees or directly over those hips now i am actively engaging my upper abdominals by keeping the shoulder blades off the floor and yes my elbows are as wide as possible and i'm leaving with that chin okay so i don't want to pull on the neck three more seconds two and one pick it up shake it loose we're going to do the one two one again okay one two one going backwards again seconds on that clock. Give me those three straight punches moving backwards. Sa, sa, sa. Again, come on. Three seconds. And one. Take it to the ground. Leg drops and kickouts. You know what to do this time. Let's perfect it. Notice the pace. We use our breath. Yes, 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 still some more work to do. I hope you are ready. Now check this out, I love this. I want you to hold your back ear, okay? And then all you're gonna do is freestyle the lead hand with your punches. Lead hand only. We need to work your space. Now why am I making you do this? Why am I asking you to hold your hands up like this and hold your ear? Because sometimes we get into the habit of dropping that back hand. And look, I'm not a skilled fighter by any means. But if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this right. Okay? Not all of us, you know, are like like these amazing fighters. We're not. We have to practice to keep that guard up. Okay? I think certain fighters, you know, they can get away with keeping your hands down and their their, their hands are so fast. But you know have to keep our hands up. Now, butterfly sit up twist. I know, I'm sorry, I'm the bearer of bad news. <laughs> but it's good to practice good habits. 
Butterfly sit up and twist. Those knees are apart. Those heels are down. Okay. Good. And when I coach, I really coach. I, I hope that you don't take things the wrong way when I coach. I just I want you to do things right by you. And it's always about getting good habits. Now, we're going to do the same thing again. Okay. This time with the lead hand. So I am going to go with my back hand. I'm going to punch. And I'm going to hold on to my front ear. Because it's good to always keep that guard up and be ready. It's good to have that arm ready for a block if you need to, right? What if your, your head movement isn't fast enough? What happens? At least those arms are there to protect you, right? And then learning to always bring it back to the face. You throw a punch, you bring it back to the face. Let's go 10 more seconds. And again, this channel, I'm not, I'm not your fight coach. I just want to really preface that. I, I want to say that right now. I'm not a fight coach. But if you're going to translate this outside into the real ring, keep your hands up. Butterfly sit up twist. Nice. Let's do this. Ten more seconds. Let's do this, champ. Come on. Get that working, baby. Get that working. I try to keep things as authentically as I can. Yes. Good. All right. So, ten seconds here. We're going to start. We're going to keep both our hands up this time. And this is all about footwork. Get into your stance. We're just going to bounce it forward and back. Now, I want you to pretend like you've got a ladder. You know one of those agility ladders on the floor? You're stepping in and out, in and out, in and out. Now, we are literally doing the boxer's shuffle. The boxer's bounce. Okay? This is to help with your footwork, keeping it super light. Again, maintaining that discipline. Hands are up. Guard position. And being really cool and quick with those legs. Bounce, 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 bounce. Little lateral footwork. Three, two, and one. Oh, baby, you ready for this one? Dive bomb, push up. Sweep it under. Bang. Get back to up. Now plank it out. Jump your knees over to one side of the wrist. Dive bomb, push up. Up, sweep it back. Neutral plank. Jump in other side. You got it. Now, how do you modify this? You can always just keep a regular plank and jump it in and out. Or you can try, fall flat on your face, try again. That's how you get better. You just keep practicing. That's <laughs> literally how it's done. Rest, rest, rest. I know. You know what it is? I, I'm not one to coddle. I just, I, I want you to really try hard. Try your hardest. Okay, and it's okay. You don't have to be perfect. Now, tuck that chin in. Hands are up. We're going the opposite direction. I'm going to the left. And then I'm going to go to the right. Okay? Little bounce. Little bounce. Nice and in the feet. Keeping on the toes. Okay? Keeping on those toes. Less than 30. Good. Keep those elbows tucked in. I'm literally holding my ears myself to keep that guard up. 10 seconds. Doing great. You got it, you got it. In three, two, one. Yes. All right. Let's go into dog bind push up. Oblique jump. We straighten it out. We jump it out. Boom. Good. And again. Great work. Ten more seconds. In five, four, three, two. Shake it up, shake it loose. Yes, nice job. All right, we're almost done. We are almost done. Okay, full deep breath up. Okay, check it out. So we're going to go planting our feet. Okay. Watch me. I'm going to step forward. I'm going to step back. Boom. A couple punches in the middle. 
back step. Couple punches in the middle, freestyle, front step. So imagine you're, you have this like ring, okay? You throw a couple punches with both feet in the ring, then the front foot steps outside of the ring. Bring it back in. Throw a couple punches, and then it's the back foot that steps back. So you're constantly alternating. Three, two, one. Okay, take it down to the floor. This is gonna be a fun one. We're gonna rock to sit. Now check it out, rock to sit, kick it out. Watch me now. Rock to sit, kick it out for two. One and two. Rock to sit. Guess what the next number is? One, two, three. You see what I'm doing here? Rock to sit. Let's try to get that four in, baby. Two, three, and four. Rock to sit. And nice. Time is up. Great. All right. So this is what we're going to do the next round. You know how we went forward and back, up and back? This time, we're going to still have that ring, that pretend ring, both feet inside. Throw a few punches planted, and then one foot steps out. A few foot punches planted in the ring, right? Boom. So literally, imagine a circle around both of your feet. Back leg goes out to the side, outside of the circle. Throw a couple punches in the middle. And it goes it goes out of the circle, back in. It's gotta be quick. Ba, 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 ba. And then out, in. And out, in. See what I'm doing here? That's it, come on, you got it, you got it. Get creative with your punches. Just throw hands, throw hands. Good, less than 10. Also, you're adding some head movement with it. In three, two, one, and you know what to do. We'll rock to sit, kick out, keep adding a rep. Here we go, rock to sit, tailbone, stick that landing. One, all the way to the shoulder blade, stick that landing. Two, now all the way to the shoulder blades. You give me three of those kick outs. You got it. Come on, do your best. We have about 10 seconds left. You got this, you got this, you got this. Come on. Uh-huh, less than five seconds. Three, two, shake it loose. Oh, the bonus. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Go to one side of the ring. Up, 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 up. You're, even if you don't have a ring, you're going to do this in your space. You're going to keep drawing this circle with your footwork. It's gonna be four straight punches, four uppercuts, four hooks. All right, visualize yourself in that ring, right? Now I'm lucky enough to be at a place where it has a boxing ring, and but it's not necessary, right? You can still do this work without it. I've proven that in my other videos, right? Ba 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 ba. that's it. Four straight punches, one, two, three, four. Four uppercuts, up, two, three, four. Four hooks. Two, three, four. We're gonna change it up in a little bit. Just keep moving and notice we're going from right to left, left to right. Once I finish my entire circle, I go to the other side. All right, now burpee time. Down, shuffle, shuffle. I'm towards my left, burpee. Again, towards my left, burpee. And to my left again, burpee. Yup. To my left again, burpee. Guess what, now I'm gonna go towards the right side. Shuffle to the left, uh, to the right rather, burpee. Good, to the right. Burpee, I love burpees. I don't care what anyone says, I love this workout. Some people think it's useless, I don't. It's great for conditioning. It's great for full body, full body conditioning. Good, all right, now, guess what? Straight punches, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. All the way out, all the way out. I love endurance work, I love conditioning work, I love that you try to push past that limit, okay? You're almost there. Now, we're gonna go shoe shine. Up, 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 up. Yup, 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 that's how it's done, folks. Come on, come on, you can do it. Roll it in, roll it in, roll it in. Roll it in, roll it in, roll it in. Stay with me. Breathe and roll those arms in, come on. Speed, 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 speed. Should be burning by now, it's a good thing. Hooks, hooks to the left. I'm an orthodox fighter, so it's my lead hook. Southpaw fighters, this is your right hand, baby. Throw that hook, front hook, lead hook, rotate. Slide that elbow across. Follow through, left. Now it's right, my right. 
Southpaw, it's your left. Orthodox, you're with me, baby. Right-handed folks, you're with me. Yes, yes, yes. And done. We are done. Ready to go, champ. Savage, right? Killer, and you did it, and I am so proud of you. Now, please help a girl out. I want to share this workout with the world. Let's let others work out with us. So you know what to do. Drop a comment. Tell me you know how you did. Give me a like, a share, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you're always notified. And I cannot wait to see you in the next workout. Way to go, champ.